The world's first ever vaccine was created by Edward Jenner for smallpox disease in 1798, where he injected material from cowpox virus to an 8-year-old boy with the belief that it will save people from smallpox virus. And it worked. To understand how the vaccine works, we first need to understand how the immune system works. Your body has its ways of defending itself against pathogens like bacterium or virus. Whenever a pathogen infects the body, your immune system triggers to identify and destroy this pathogen. The signs that the immune response is working are the coughing, sneezing and fever we experience. The immune system also sends the following white blood cells. Macrophages swallow up and digest germs and dead or dying cells, leaving behind parts of the pathogens called the antigens. B cells which produce antibodies that attack the antigens left by the macrophages. T cells they attack the cells in the body that have already been infected. If this is the first time the body encounters such pathogen, it will take several days to learn about it, creating a memory of how they look like and how to fight them if they were to infect the body again. Sometimes this process is a bit risky, as it takes time for the body to generate antibodies to respond to the pathogens, and if a body is too weak or young to fight back, this might be risky, especially if the pathogen is severe. But what if we could prepare the body to create antibodies for a disease before someone got ill? That is where vaccines come in. Vaccines help develop immunity by imitating an infection. This type of infection almost never causes illness, but it will help the immune system to produce antibodies for it. So if someone did get infected, your body will be ready to take on this infection. This also resulted in many vaccine types. Live attenuated vaccines, these contain the pathogen itself, but it has been weakened, so it doesn't cause a serious disease. This type of vaccine is difficult to make, and since it is live, people with weak immune system should not have it. Inactivated vaccines in which the pathogen has been killed and often multiple doses given weeks or months apart are necessary to build up and maintain immunity. Subunit vaccines, which include only parts of the pathogen called an antigens which triggers the immune response. Vaccinating not only protects yourself but also protects those in the community who are unable to be vaccinated. If you're able to, get vaccinated. Subscribe for more videos, turn on post notification, like the video if you do. Thanks for watching.